Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about getting our title screen to actually go to the actual game page itself. So I took the example from the video where we talked about adding text to the canvas in Construct 3. So if you wanted to check that out, you can do that, or you can kind of just throw in two text objects real quick and be caught up to where I am starting from. So what we're going to do now is actually talk about the coding aspect to Construct 3 and how that actually works and what we need in order for it to actually do what we need it to do. So let's go ahead and start with that. So right now I have this object here called Start Game Text. So uh, we have that there. And what we're going to do is make this where it becomes clickable in order for you to go to the layout of the next game or to the actual game scene itself. So in order for us to first do that, we need to add the new layout. So let's go ahead and do that. So to the project side, which is on the right, you're gonna see where it says layouts. If you right click there, it's gonna ask you to add a layout. So I'm gonna click add layout and it's gonna ask me, do I want the event sheet or just the layout itself? I am always gonna click the event sheet for the videos that I am creating. Yeah, you can always delete these things afterwards if you end up not using them. So I kind of just do it just so then everything's matching one for one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add event sheet. It's gonna let me name it. I'm gonna just call this game. And then I'm actually gonna go back to layout one and rename this. So I'm gonna right click rename and go to title. That way it's a little bit more uh, easier to see. And I'm gonna also change these event sheets. So event sheet one was actually tied to um, title. So I'm just gonna call it title event sheet. And then this one here, rename it to game event sheet. So now what we're gonna do is open up the title event sheet, which we have open right now. And you're gonna see this is how the code works or get everything working on the back side of your game. So think of the layout as a front side where you design everything, get things moving. You could do a ton of interactivity on the front side, but this back side here is considered where most of the logic will go as your games get more and more complicated. So uh, here's a great example here. Uh, think of this as almost kind of like saying a sentence. And this is how they actually start with uh, you making your code. So you start with uh, a condition. So in this case, a bullet on collision with a monster, it's going to destroy the monster and destroy the bullet. So this is kind of how you read it. So you start right here with bullet on collision with monster. And then from the top to bottom is the line of actions that will occur based on this condition. So we're gonna go ahead and create our very first condition. So there's a couple ways to do this. Easy one right here, it says add event. You click this and it's gonna bring up the piece where it says add condition. So what we need to ask ourselves is, what is the condition we're looking for? So in this case, we want to be able to mess with the title. However, I just realized there's one more thing we need to do before we actually jump into this. So go ahead and hit cancel for a second and go into your title layout. And I want you to double click anywhere and you're gonna scroll down and you are going to pick an input. We need access to be able to interact with our game. Right now, we can't use any kind of mouse or fingers, a keyboard or a gamepad. So we need to add these items in. So I'm going to add a mouse for right now, and you could click insert, and that's all you have to do. It adds the mouse here, and it automatically now lets you use a mouse throughout the entire game. So now we can jump back to the event sheet, and now double click, you're gonna see mouse. So the mouse is actually what's gonna trigger our condition for what we are testing right now. So let's go ahead and click on the mouse one time, and then, we're gonna click next and you're gonna get a bunch of options. 
So we get to pick from if the cursor is over the object, on any click, on click, on object clicked, if the mouse button's down, if it's released, if they're using the mouse wheel. So we have a lot of play with what we're trying to do. In this case, we're going to be very specific. We want on object clicked. And then when you click this, you're going to see up here, it says triggered when a mouse button clicked or double clicked on an object. And that's kind of what we want going on here. So we're going to click next. And then it's going to ask you, well, what side of the mouse? Left, middle, or right? We're going to use the standard left click. And we're just going to do click. And here it's going to say, well, click to choose which object you're clicking. So you do this and you get two options. Am I going to do the start game text or the title? And for me, I'm going to do the start game text. This is why we're trying to be descriptive with our name. So it's easier to know at this point what we need to select. So we're going to click on OK and then click Done. And then congratulations, you had your first line of code. However, it's not complete because we now need to tell it to do something. So let's add the action, which is right here. So now it's going to say add action right here. What do we want to have happen? And in this case, we want to move from one layout to the next or think of one scene to the next. And in order for us to do that, we need to click on system. So once we click on system, you're going to have a bunch of options. Now, it's OK. We're going to cover a lot of these as we go through. But just know right now we're going to keep scrolling down until we get to the layout section. And then we have a couple options. We could go to layout or we could go to it by name. Either one works. So I'm just going to click go to layout so I could show you what happened. It's going to ask you what layout. I only have two. So it's going to pick the other one for me. All right. And then I click done. Congratulations. Now you have where it says on the mouse or mouse on left button clicked on start game text, go to game. So it almost reads like a nice sentence of what's going to happen. So now if I hit play, I get my first game, I go, go here, I click and everything went away. Now, how do I test to make sure that's actually what I want to have happen? I'm going to close this for a second, go into the game layout, and I'm going to add dummy text for right now. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to call this dummy text because I don't want to use it later. And in here, I'm just going to say, you are in the game layout. And let's just make this. There we go. Boom. It doesn't even have to be really nice or fancy. And now we click back into the layouts of title and then click play. Click start game and see how everything changed. So that means you have successfully connected one layout to the next. So this is how you are going to operate and get moving from one layout to the next as you build your game. So just to kind of recap. We created an event. We used an existing event sheet, but before that, we created a new layout to connect to. And then we created our condition where the mouse on left button clicked of whatever text we created. When we click on it, we want to go to the layout called game. So now you could create a back button to have it go back and all sorts of other cool things. So that's kind of how you get your click events to work in Construct 3.